Morning everyone, DMV Solar Rider back on day three of my little road trip down to uh, North Carolina. So last night after I stopped filming, I still had quite a ways to go to get to Fontana Village, North Carolina. It's about 10 miles from uh, Deals Gap and Tell the Dragons. And I was basically riding mountain twisties in pitch black. Like, the highways were twisty, like the three-lane highways, and then when you get off the highway to actually get up here, it is a winding, twisty, curvy uh, mountain road. So I've had a little bit of twisties over the last couple of days, and I've decided instead of going right to Tail of the Dragon today, I'm instead going to hit the Cherahala Skyway, because I'm up for some leisurely touring riding, and the Skyway is supposed to be absolutely beautiful, and there's an amazing waterfall kind of towards the Tennessee border that I want to check out. So that is today's ride. And we will do Tale of the Dragon tomorrow morning. So I didn't see anything down here or up here uh, when I came in last night. It was just pitch black. <laughs> I'm not sure I want to see it. <laughs> the hell was I thinking so after I got off the Blue Ridge Parkway you know I figured those horrible wind gusts 50 mile per hour wind gusts would die down I'd be down off the mountains and I was wrong I had tons of wind the whole ride here until until really I got off the highway it was pretty creepy uh, there were some times when I'm you know riding 50 miles an hour <clears throat> and you know you have no real control you know you're holding on you're you're hunched down you got your your elbows in trying to stay flexible but also trying to hold on to make sure you don't you know fly off your bike run into a guardrail bike says it's 41 degrees so it's warmed up a bit Got our heated grips set to medium. Yeah, so far, on this road, when you see a sign that says 20 miles an hour, it really is 20 miles an hour. Look at that. My hands are still sore from gripping the throttle. <laughs> <laughs> the handlebars so tight last night. I mean, the ride, just the ride down to get anywhere we want to go is amazing. Challenger has been a dream the whole time. We put on 650 miles, something like that. Look at that. Fifteen mile an hour curves. Where's my pretty highway, guy? <laughs> Just amazing. Well, we gotta stop for a picture. Just look at that. It's so pretty. Yeah. 
This is it, Sharon Hollow Skyway. Amazing. thousand feet. That's why they call it the Skyway. You're way up here. degrees we are at the top of the hill baby just about top of the mountain It's all just barren trees and mountains, to be honest. Visually, like it's really cool to be up in the mountains and and to see the mountain range, but it's not maybe as spectacular as it would be if I had gotten up here earlier. I don't think it would be great in the summer. Just green would be fine, but you know, you really want those fall colors or spring. The road is fantastic. Ooh, down to 38 degrees. Ooh, I feel it. This is what I wanted to see. Look at that.
back up to 47. Feels like it. Bald River Falls, six miles, that's where we want to go. I hope that camera got that angle, that was awesome right around the corner and bam, there's the river. Mm. Let's see about these here falls. I'm all the way back there? Oh my god. What? 50 minutes, 16 minutes. There we go. I like this little area, it's so cute. I feel like I'm riding through Hobbiton. Hobbit Town. However you geeks pronounce it. I guess the falls must have been right here before I even hit this cute little river area. Just didn't see a sign or whatever.
Goodbye, Falls. You're beautiful. So we're going to go back over the Skyway. But we got to be like not a lot of stopping because I want to be back at my hotel road before dark. I don't want to do that in the dark again, man. That sucks. I mean, this is just amazing. Gorgeous. Yeah, I parked my bike on the bridge. I started taking pictures and some guy pulls up and goes, Hey man, I just want to let you know they catch you parking on this bridge. It's a $120 ticket. I told him I appreciated that, but it'd be worth it. <laughs> it would have been. I got a sweet picture, baby. That sucks. Yeah, I guess I didn't really think about the zigzagging back and forth. I'm gonna go from east to west to east to west. Ugh. Plenty of sun on my face. <laughs> we'll go slow. Gravel. It's my nightmare. Don't even warn me. I see leaves, I don't see gravel. All that sign did was take me out of my my ride. <laughs> This right here is my favorite little stretch from the whole ride. This one little bridge. I don't know why, I just think it's so cool. Down to 38 degrees, holy moly. This is dedicated to all of you who put your motorcycles up for the winter. Come on, man. Get out and ride. If you live in Minnesota or Alaska, okay, I get it. But if you live in the Mid-Atlantic and you don't ride because it's winter, that's what you're missing. Thirty six degrees, and I feel it. Ooh. It's cold enough that my pin lock alone is not defogging my visor. I have to keep it cracked open.
Ice on the rocks. That's ice up there. It's that glistening stuff. It's not water. It's frozen. <laughs> Look at that road. You know, it's only a 40 mile ride, but when it's all twists and turns, it's exhausting. But that was the Cherahala Skyway. It was an awesome day, fantastic ride. It's not about how fast you tackle the twisties, it's about surviving and enjoying. So if you enjoyed today's video, I'd certainly appreciate it if you give it a thumbs up. I put my ride and ride related videos out every Friday, so hit the subscribe button, click that notification bell, You'll be alerted when my next video is out. Uh, but tomorrow is Tale of the Dragon. <sighs> so we'll see how that ride goes. 311 turns in 11 miles. <laughs> Can't wait. <laughs>